Hello students. In this video, we learn how to approach the circuit and how to calculate the quantities which they have asked in the question. This approach is going to be very important. So we have to get the grip on this approach of circuit, right? So I will make you understand about this approach by taking an illustration here. Eleven illustration now to one degree. In notary, find the current in 2 ohm resistance on that. Where is the 2 ohm resistance? Here is the 2 ohm resistance. E 2 ohm all guest current to the current. First, now current to find Madabek other effective resistance is to the antenna find Madabek. Effective resistance back other notary. Illy notary, Namaka combination hang other. This 2 ohm and this 1 ohm they are in series. If you are doing a series of all other 2 ohm and 1 ohm they are in series. So either the effective is 3. So the effective of 2 and 1 is 3. This 3 ohm resistance is in parallel with 6. E 6 ohm jyote ke namaga parallel na gadare. Correct. So adh namaga parallel adhare. Idh namaga parallel adhare. Namaga ke effective note re. Idh 3 mat 6 parallel adhare effective west akta tere. 2 ohm akta tere. So the effective of these 3 resistors. E muru resistor the effective namaga ita 2 ohm. That 2 ohm is in series with 4 ohm. E 4 ohm jyote namaga series ola gadare. Anga tere 2 plus 4 namaga yana itare. 6 ohm. Right. So totally, in null resistors in other like two, one, four, and six. This total effective resistance we get is about six ohm. Now this six ohm resistance is in parallel with this three ohm. This three ohm, which means we parallel with each So six and three parallel with each total square the effective is about Total square the effective means we two ohm. Clear with So we finally, this circuit we can reduce it. Right? This is of four ohm. This is four ohm. A complete square the effective we get is 2 ohm month. Complete square the effective number 2 ohm month. Either number 4 ohm as it is early. This is the 4 ohm as it is. Right? 4 ohm, 4 ohm, a complete square the number effective month, 2 ohm month. Right? So either number 120 volt month. So combination would be nile in detail na combination you can put like other mill now already one video not going to be so you just check out that video. There you will get to know which are in series, which are in parallel or easily you find more thing in three. Okay. Well, so ignore it. If we have 4, 2 and 4, you have to have a combination. They are in series. Re. Series is effective. 4 plus 4 is 8, 8 plus 2 is 10. Re. Correct? So, we have to apply the voltage. 120 volt now apply. Okay. So, we have to apply the 120 volt now total voltage. Apply 120 volt total voltage now apply. 4 ohm, 2 ohm, 4 ohm. <coughs> in current test, we have to apply the circuit. This circuit is the current test. This circuit is the current test. This circuit is the approach correct. Current and other voltage divided by effective resistance. Voltage is 120. Voltage is 120. What is the effective resistance? 4 plus 4, 8, 8 plus 2, 10. Right? So now current is 12 ampere. This is the main current now. This is the main current. We have effective resistance. So main current is 12 ampere. Main current is 12 ampere. So the main current is the current which is passing from positive terminal to negative terminal of the cell. So positive terminal the 12 ampere current for the negative terminal 12 ampere current. Right? Okay. Finally, we got current in this resistance and current in this resistance. This e resistor the current month, this e resistor the current month. If I know I and R, can I calculate the voltage? Voltage na calculate So I into R that will be 48. So the voltage across this resistor is how much? 48 volt. This is the voltage of 12 into 4. This is 48 volt. So, we have voltage. We got to know about current and resistance is already given. By that, we got to know the voltage. So, 48 volt, 48 volt. This is the voltage. Voltage across 4 ohm is 48 volt. Voltage across 4 ohm is 48 volt. Correct? So, we have total series. 4 ohm, 2 ohm, and 4 ohm are in series. So, this 120 volt in the last number three parts are divided because there are three resistors in series, right? So, either now V1 and the Tolono, either now V2 and the Tolono, another V3 number guest V1 plus V2 plus V3, you Muru Adam or Kodanam guest per week, 120 in a per week, you number guest for other three, 48 plus 48, yes, 96 side. Another 120 volt 96 hodre, yes, 24 volts in a movie. So, the voltage across three ohm. Voltage across 3 ohm number guest bandh bandh bandh, it is 24 volt. This is the voltage bandh. So not really. Now we voltage is the resistance. What can I find? I can find current. I is equal to V by R. 
So 24 divided by 3. So the current here is 8 ampere. Illi nama current test adha paandre 8 ampere anta adha. Next note re. E 12 ampere current after coming to this junction. It has to get divided in 3 parts. 1, 2 and this is 3. Idha 3. So third part nama already go to the 8 ampere anta. So 12 ampere wala gindi 8 ampere current ikade paandre. In yes wala itre. 4 ampere will be 4 ampere namak yerad parts ag divide ag bekele. The 4 ampere has to get divided in 2 parts. In order, what is the effective resistance of this? Either the effective resistance namak yastak ta 3 ohm. Idh namak yastak 6 ohm. So 3 the exactly double ili 3. 6 and 3. So if I say the current here is I, how much will be the current here? 2 I. Yakare, yakandre if the current gets halved, sorry, if the resistance get halved, current will get doubled. Right? Resistance is 6, it is 3, it is half, it is so current is double. Now, 4 ampere current is 2 i mat i that divide. And I can take it like this. See, 2 i plus i is equal to, I can take it as 4. Right? No, 12 is 8 ampere, it is 4. That 4 ampere current is 12 parts that divide. So, it is 3 i is equal to 4. And that is, we have i is 4 divided by 3 ampere. So, ill current namag bantha 4 divided by 3 ampere. 4 divided by 3 ampere. Yavutra olaga 6 ohm olaga. Ill athara double iru vekri. So, idh namag yashta akta 3. 8 by 3 ampere akta 3. So, the current in 2 ohm resistance is 8 by 3 ampere. So, finally we got the current in 2 ohm resistance. Adhani namag keledhra we got to know how to calculate the current. 8 by 3 ampere current is flowing in 2 ohm resistance. This is how we have to approach the circuits. So, ee approach namag bar vekri. Theoretically, now theory will again problem solve the water. Uh, it will be very lengthy, it will be very tough. Right? So either an approach it, right? division of current with the division of voltage number ball gripper with notary. So then I already one video will call the division of voltage but division of current and the separate again other one the video will name here. So that is the very important technique, right? So our technique it won't be approaching the now solve matter. Now we get the answers for thought, right? So there is no need of calculating lengthy lengthy. Okay, so that is all about the current in two ohm resistance. Fine. Okay, next, we'll go for one more illustration. In order, find current in 3 ohm and 4 ohm resistance. So, where is 3 ohm? 3 ohm, okay, here is 3 ohm. 4 ohm, end of the 4 ohm. Either the current you find. Not the same approach with the same approach. Model effective resistance find. Effective resistance, not 2, 4, 2 are in series. So, effective number is 8 ohm. So, the effective of these three resistances is 8 ohm. E8 ohm नमग E8 ohm जोते parallel वोड़ गदरे. So 8 and 8, identical resistors in parallel. So effective will be 8 by 2, that is 4 ohm. So इद नमग इग यस्ट आएथा, 4 ohm आएथा. Correct? अथवा निव इतरा तिलको बोथु. E complete square, अंदर इन 4 resistors कूड़ effective नमग यस्ट आएथरी, 4 ohm आएथा. So 4 ohm, इद 4 ohm आएथरी, complete 2, 4, 2. Again it will be 8. Right? So that 8 will be in parallel with this 8. E8 जोते नमग parallel वोड़ गदरे. So 8 and 8 नमग parallel आ Effective is 4 I3. So this is 4 now. And if we have squares, this is the first square, this is the second square. If we have squares, effective resistance is 4 ohm. Right? So this is 4. 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 plus 2 is 9. Effective resistance is 9. 3 ohm, 4 ohm, 2 ohm. This is the series. Right? So effective resistance of this circuit. How much is the effective resistance of this circuit? 9 ohm. Okay, what will be the main current in the circuit then? Main current under E divided by R. E is to the 9 volt. The. So 9 divided by 9, the current in this circuit is 1 ampere. So E circuit will be current is to the 1 ampere. 1 ampere is current, 1 ampere current is going out from the positive terminal. 1 ampere current has to enter back the negative terminal of the battery. Clear the right? Okay. So we will get the current resistance. So I into R, what you will get? You will get voltage. So what is the voltage across this resistance? 3 volt. Here also we will get voltage I into R. What is the voltage across this resistance? 2 volt. Here we have 2 volt. Correct? So you know, you have this circuit in this circuit. Now we have two squares. We have two squares. We have two squares. We have two squares. So you know, we have three ohm. We have four ohm. We have two ohm. Right? We are applying a battery of nine volt here. This is 9 volt to the battery. So 3 ohm, this is of 2 ohm. If we have to square the effective number, we have to get 4 ohm. Clear? So if we have 3 ohm, we have to get 3 volt. 
ಟೂ ಓಮ್ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಎಷ್ಟದ ರೀ ಟೂ ವೋಲ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಅದ್ರಿ ಓಕೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಈ ನೈನ್ ವೋಲ್ಟ್ ನೈನ್ ವೋಲ್ಟ್ ನಮಗ್ ಮೂರ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಆಗ್ಬೇಕು ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ತ್ರೀ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಓಮ್ ಫೋರ್ ಓಮ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಟೂ ಓಮ್ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ಮೂರ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ನಮಗ್ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಒಳಗದವ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಂಗಾಗಿ ನಮಗ್ ಮೂರ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಆಗ್ಬೇಕು ಅದ್ರಾಗಿಂದ ಎರಡು ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ನಮಗೆ ಈಗ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಗೊತ್ತದವ್ರಿ ತ್ರೀ ವೋಲ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟೂ ವೋಲ್ಟ್ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ಸೊ ತ್ರೀ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟು ಫೈವ್ ವೋಲ್ಟ್ ಆಯ್ತು ರೀ ನೈನ್ ವೋಲ್ಟ್ ತಗಿಂದ ಫೈವ್ ವೋಲ್ಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟ್ ಆಗಿತ್ತು ಹಂಗಾದ್ರೆ ಉಳಿತ ಎಷ್ಟ್ರಿ ಫೋರ್ ವೋಲ್ಟ್ ಉಳಿತ್ರಿ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಫೋರ್ ವೋಲ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ದ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಅಕ್ರಾಸ್ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಅಕ್ರಾಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೇ ಟು ಬಿ ಫೋರ್ ವೋಲ್ಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಮಗ್ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಎಷ್ಟ್ ಅದ ಫೋರ್ ವೋಲ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಎಲ್ಲ ಆಡ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ನಮಗ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ನೈನ್ ಬರ್ಬೇಕು ಫೋರ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟು ನೈನ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಇಲ್ಲೇ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಗೊತ್ತಿತ್ತ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಫೈನ್ ಮಾಡ್ರಿ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಗೊತ್ತಿತ್ತ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಫೈನ್ ಮಾಡ್ರಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಿ ಹಾವ್ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ವಿ ಹಾವ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬ್ರಾಂಚ್ ರೈಟ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನ್ರಿ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಬೈ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ರೀ ಫೋರ್ ಬೈ ಏಟ್ ಫೋರ್ ಬೈ ಏಟ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಟು ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಟು ಅಂತ ಹಾಫ್ ಅಂಪಿಯರ್ ರೀ ಹಾಫ್ ಅಂಪಿಯರ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಝೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಅಂಪಿಯರ್ ಅಂತ ನೀವು ತಗೋಬಹುದು ಓಕೆ ಹಾಫ್ ಅಂಪಿಯರ್ ಈ ಕಡೆ ಬಂದ್ರೆ ಇನ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಅಂಪಿಯರ್ ಈ ಕಡೆ ಹೋಗ್ಬೇಕ್ರಿ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಇದು ಒನ್ ಅಂಪಿಯರ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಈ ಜಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಬರ್ತಿರ್ತದೆ ಹೌ ಮಚ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಇನ್ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಇಯರ್ ಇನ್ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಅಂಪಿಯರ್ ದಟ್ ಒನ್ ಅಂಪಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಅಂಪಿಯರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಅಂಪಿಯರ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಅದ್ರಿ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಅಂಪಿಯರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ನಾವು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬರ್ತದ್ರಿ ನಮಗೆ ಅದು ಹಾಫ್ ಅಂಪಿಯರ್ ಈಗ ಈ ಹಾಫ್ ಅಂಪಿಯರ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ನಮಗೆ ಎರಡು ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಆಗ್ಬೇಕು ಈ ಕಡೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಈ ಕಡೆ ಎರಡು ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಆಗ್ಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಹೆಂಗ್ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಆಗ್ಬೇಕು ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಎರಡು ಬ್ರಾಂಚ್ ಎರಡು ಪಾತ್ ಒಳಗೆ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಎಷ್ಟ್ ಅದ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಟೂ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಏಟ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾತ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಏಟ್ ಓಮ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಹೌ ಮಚ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾತ್ ಏಟ್ ಓಮ್ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಬೋತ್ ದ ಪಾತ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಈಕ್ವಲಿ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ನಮಗ್ ಈಕ್ವಲಿ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಆಗ್ತದ್ ರೀ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇದು ಹಾಫ್ ಇದ್ದದೆ ಮತ್ತ ಹಾಫ್ ಆಫ್ ದಾಗ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಆಗ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇದು ಎಷ್ಟ್ ಆಗ್ತದ್ರಿ ಹಾಫ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಎಷ್ಟ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಫೋರ್ ಅಂಪಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ಇದು ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಫೋರ್ ಅಂಪಿಯರ್ ಇದು ನಮಗ್ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಫೋರ್ ಅಂಪಿಯರ್ ಬರ್ತದ್ ರೀ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಫೋರ್ ಅಂಪಿಯರ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ನಮಗ್ ಟೂ ಓಮ್ ಒಳಗು ಪಾಸ್ ಆಗ್ಬೇಕ ಫೋರ್ ಓಮ್ ಒಳಗು ಪಾಸ್ ಆಗ್ಬೇಕ ಟೂ ಓಮ್ ಒಳಗು ಪಾಸ್ ಆಗ್ಬೇಕು ಯಾಕ್ರಿ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಇವೆಲ್ಲ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಅದಾವ್ರಿ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಫೋರ್ ಓಮ್ ದೆನ್ ಫೋರ್ ಓಮ್ ಒಳಗ ನಮಗ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಎಷ್ಟ್ ಬಂತ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಫೋರ್ ಅಂಪಿಯರ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಬಂತ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ನಮಗ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಯಾವ್ದಾದ್ರು ಕೇಳಿದಾರೆ ತ್ರೀ ಓಮ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಫೋರ್ ಓಮ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಕೇಳಿದಾರೆ ತ್ರೀ ಓಮ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ನಮಗ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗಿತ್ತೀರಿ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಓಮ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಓಮ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಅದ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಫೋರ್ ಅಂಪಿಯರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಅಪ್ರೋಚ್ ಆಫ್ ಸರ್ಕಿಟ್ ಸಾಲ್ವಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ